Holistic, how are you today? Great, I hope you had your vegetables, your 20 minutes workout, your smoothies, your nine glasses of water, your yoga stretching, did a lot of uh, positive thinking, plus belief equals your reality. Yeah, so everything's going great for you, well, that's great. So what I'm gonna talk about today is Steve Harvey. I know I'm a little bit late, but I was just contemplating it and thinking about it. Steve Harvey, what would you call that? Uh, cause and effect? Or would it be uh, one of the hermetic laws called uh, principle of um, rhythm? The principle of rhythm. Uh, let me just go over that, what that is real quick. The principle of rhythm. Everything flows out and in. Everything has its type. All things rise and fall. The pendulum swings manifest in everything. The measure of the swing to the right is the measure of the swing to the left. Rhythm compensates. So the principle of rhythm explains the cycle of life, the truth that everything has a tide and an ebb and a flow. And the tables must eventually turn. So I think that's what happened in Steve's case, which happens to everybody. One minute you can be up, the next minute you can be down. So if you see a homeless person or somebody in need, help them out because you might turn the corner and that could be you. So be humble, be thankful, be grateful. Also, the last principle, the principle of cause and effect. Some would say karma, but the real principle is cause and effect. Let me read that definition to you. Everything has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. Chance is but a name for law. I'm sorry. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. That's basically saying that um, if you send out that energy, it'll come back to you. Um, so you always want to be wary of your thoughts, what you say, because your thoughts create your actions. So what about Steve Harvey? Well, Steve Harvey is a very successful guy. He has a lot of different television talk shows and he's a very important entertainer. But he lost me when he said he didn't know anything about slavery. Right then and there, I said, oh my God, that's a big no-no. <laughs> I mean, he lost me then. And then I wasn't really that into him because he was kind of, well, buffoonish. And, but the, that book he sold, um, and he wrote, the movie, um, what is it, Talk Like a Man, Act Like a Woman? <laughs> Think Like a Man, Act Like a Woman, that's it. I thought that was like really, really something else. He's giving advice to people and he has about three wives. Who would ever listen to him? But a lot of people did, so I don't know. But about him being with Trump, well, he has the right to be with whomever he wants to. Trump, whatever, he can talk to whatever president he wants. That's his decision, you know, you make your choices by that. And I believe a lot of black people don't like Trump, so maybe they he lost their support as far as an audience. And that's, they choose to do that, that's fine. But I, yeah, I was not a fan of Steve Harvey a long time ago. But he's funny, man. He's a funny guy. He's very creative. I'm not going to take that away from him. And he's far from broke. So <laughs> I wish him much, much success, but I don't, I'm not going to look down on him because I know that uh, anything can happen to anybody. Because we're all living this, on this planet and we do uh, live under the laws of the universe, which are the hermetic laws, which we talked about earlier. Now, the one we're talking about, the law of rhythm, you know, the pendulum swings to the left and swings to the right. So what comes up must come down. Yeah. What comes around goes around. Yeah. So you can talk a lot of stuff and say a lot of things, but you need to think, think. Just don't say what's ever on your mind, but a lot of times people, what's on people's mind has been shaped by something else due to environment or a lot of things but anyways this um was he selfish was he greedy well who isn't everybody isn't to some degree so i'm not happy he lost his his uh, positions you know but 
it can happen to anybody. So, you know, there's no need to really feel good about it that somebody lost their uh, employment or their uh, way of making money. But I'm sure he'll do well. He'll bounce back. He's a very creative person. Uh, but I'm sure the next time he will think about what he says before he says it and the repercussions and maybe stay away from political uh, ideas and expressions, especially if he doesn't have a lot of background information in it um, and doesn't have a complete thorough understanding of different topics that maybe he should shy away from that or get more information or have somebody do research for him so he can respond in a more um, conducive way. But anyways, that's the way it goes. So we all should remember those laws for ourselves. We must apply that toward ourselves. We can leave, look at this as a teaching moment and kind of look at how we think and what we believe in and how that creates our reality. So apparently he had a conservative view, but I would ask the question for any black person that's a conservative, what are you conserving? What, your oppression? <laughs> Okay, um, being dominated over, you want to conserve that? Okay, that's what I think, that he didn't really think much about it. Or maybe he that's what he believed, so he said what he said. So that's the name of the game. That's the, the principle you have to keep in mind, cause and effect. You make decisions, you say things, you believe them, but you just have to be ready to accept the uh, action, the effect, and that's what's happened in Steve's case. Uh, that's what I think. Of course, I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. And it's, uh, you know, and he's given marriage advice, and he's on what, wife number three? <laughs> Who would listen to a guy that has three wives? I mean, divorce after divorce. Apparently, he's not a good relationship expert. Unless he's looking back and examining his mistakes in his previous relationships and, you know, passing that along to others. But anyways, uh, word to the wise, remember cause and effect. What you put out there, the energy you put out there will come back to you. So make sure you have uh, a thorough understanding of what's your environment and what's going on, history, your historical background, what's going on as far as uh, black people are concerned in this, this country that we've been here like for 400 years. You should know about slavery. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You need to research it, read about it, write about it, and know what really happened. Instead of saying, I don't know nothing about no slavery. That reminds me with Gone with the Wind. You know the lady in Gone with the Wind? Oh, I don't know nothing about no babies. I don't know nothing about no babies. If you ever get a chance to look at that movie, then you can uh, connect it with Steve Harvey. When the, the woman is having the baby, the, the slave, the black slave, enslaved woman says, I don't know nothing about no babies. That reminds me of Steve Harvey. You know, uh, those uh, stereotypical images in Hollywood, the brute, the, uh, then you have the, um, for women, they have the Jezebel and the tragic mulatto and Sapphire, you know, the loud mouth woman. And then for, um, I guess for men, it would be like Steve Harvey. Is that like the, oh, I think that's more like a, Maybe Uncle Tom, maybe that's the, the terminology because he's not a brute. He doesn't remind me of a brute, something to be afraid of. He just kind of sucks up. But we all do in some way, in some form in this existence because we don't control any resources. Our resources, I think it's like 2%. So we're all in Steve Harvey's uh, same boat. So don't, let's not be so hard on him. Let's look at ourselves and think positive have wonderful beliefs and you have a wonderful reality. It just takes a lot of believing and work and it'll be yours. So subscribe, 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 click subscribe, give me a comment and keep eating that greens, eating your greens, drinking your water, doing your exercising and having a happy day and a happy spirit. And may the goddess bless you and you have a wonderful life and I'll see you later.